Welcome to GV TV. I'm Greg Oakford, your host for this first ever episode of Golf Victoria TV. On today's program, we're going to take a look at the 2015 Victorian Junior Masters, preview the Oats Vic Open, and get some tips from our pro. TV. I'm standing here with Hira Naveed, the 2015 Victorian Junior Masters Champion, um, finishing at six under after 54 holes, nine shots in front of second place. Yeah. Uh, you must be thrilled. Yeah, I'm absolutely stoked with the win. Um, I've been working very hard on my golf, you know, for the past few weeks leading up to this event, and it's yeah, I'm thrilled to get the win. So, what's next for Hira Naveed after this fantastic start in 2015? Uh, I've got the Australian Amateur coming up. So yeah, I'll be heading over there and hopefully I can perform well there as well. Absolutely. And uh, Hira, any special thank yous uh, after your win today? Yeah, first of all, I'd just like to thank my coach, Richie Smith. He's been working very hard with me on my golf and, you know, it showed in this tournament and also my parents, you know, my dad's been the biggest support and I just can't thank him enough. And also Golf WA. Yeah, they've been helping me quite a bit with my golf and paying for everything and just, yeah, it's been good. After a thrilling three-hole playoff, Cameron, you are now champion. How do you feel? Uh, I still feel a bit shaky, I suppose. Like, still getting over the nerves. Um, the few little parts that I hold, like the one on um, first playoff hole and then the one on the last, it's pretty exciting. Absolutely. Now, you shot four under, I believe, after three rounds. Uh, we had a suspended play after the third round due to weather. You had a long wait for the playoff, being tied with your opponent. Um, what did you do in those couple of hours? Really just wanted to relax for as long as I could and then when they said it was time to go, just get back, get ready and um, start again. First hole playoff was a par. 
uh, second a birdie on the first, came back down on the 18th for the third playoff hole. What did you hit for your second shot into the green? I uh, hit a six iron, just tried to play it up high into the wind so it could come down soft on the green, didn't have to go long because that's uh, not very good over the back. The idea for this tournament really came from the late, great Tony Charlton, who had invited uh, women amateurs to play within the Vic Open fields during the 1970s. And if some of you can remember the Vic Opens at Metropolitan in the early 1980s, there were women's sections in the Vic Open back then. So that was where the inspiration came from. Um, and before we ran the first Vic Open in this dual format at Spring Valley and Woodlands um, a few years back, Tony rang me to wish me luck. To have both facilities together means it's really well set up for tournament golf. And, and this innovation of having men and women play together, I mean, it, it, when you look at it in practice, you think this is a no-brainer. I mean, tennis do it in their major events. Why doesn't golf do it? We're seeing it here, and, and people love it. Um, the championship this year will be held from Thursday the 5th to Sunday the 8th of February at 13th Beach Golf Links just in Bowen Heads outside of Geelong. Uh, the course looks fantastic. We're hoping for some kind weather conditions both in the lead up to the event and during the event itself but we've got a terrific field. Um, the preparations are all in order. We just need to be lucky um, with the weather and we'll have a great week. Uh, it's probably unique that major golf championships do get played outside of the major metropolitan cities and um, going to Geelong, even though Geelong does have a very strong population catchment, there's around about 250,000 people that live in the area and there's over about 12,000 registered golfers in the area. Um, so we've, we've taken a very unique golf event to a, a very strong sporting community, particularly a golf community. Um, so the idea came to reintroduce the Women's Open and it was thought that both from a logistical perspective and as a point of difference, why not add um, the Men's and Women's Championships together and do them together. So that, that was where the idea first sta started and uh, the first joint Men's and Women's Victorian Open um, took place in 2012 at Spring Valley and Wood Woodlands and then for the last couple of years we've been playing the event at the 136 hole facility at 13th Beach at Bowen Heads. Um, the fields are particularly strong. We've got everybody's favourite um, players from previous years. Laura Davies heading up the women's field and Richard Green heading up the men's field. But very deep fields in both sides. Um, we've got Stacey Keating, um, champion in 2013 in the Women's Vic Open. We've got Sue O in a rookie professional year after being a great performer last year at the Vic Open as an amateur. The men's side, Matthew Griffin's coming back to defend his championship. Daniel Popovic, former Australian PGA champion, and a host of um, you know, former stars, Peter O'Malley, Peter Fowler, um, Peter Lonard, you know, very deep fields on both the men's and women's side. So we're, we're looking forward to an exciting week. Hi, I'm Jared Lyle, and I'm here to give you a quick chipping tip. The problem I see is a lot of people hit this shot with a sand wedge or a lob wedge. This one works a lot better if you hit something that lands on the green quickly and runs the majority of the way. I like to use an eight iron. Some people like to use a nine iron. I just find the quicker you can get it on the green, the more control you have over your golf ball and the easier the shot's gonna be. Thanks for joining us in the first ever episode of GVTV. We hope you enjoyed the program and look forward to you joining us in episode two.